Okay, I think I'm good now. So, <clears throat> EPSAS 1 presentation of financial statements. Um, there's a done deal area for us in the exam hall. Between 15 to 20 mark area for us on the financial statement preparation. But the good thing is that I have made reference to this when we're doing our introduction to the subject. But a lot of the things we'll be doing here are going to be very critical here. Now, so far we've done a couple of issues. We've done some of the EFSA standards. We're not done though, but we've covered a number of them. And I want to introduce you to the preparation of the financial statement today. And then, God willing, next week we will conclude on it in relation to that. So we prepare for the test next week in relation to that. What you have to understand here is simple, that when it comes to IFSAS 1, it is about presentation of the financial statement. And what are the financial statements we prepare? That is a statement of financial performance. That's the first one. And then we come to Eugenia Brother, statement of financial position. The third one, it's a cash flow statement. That is EPSAS 2. The fourth one is the variance statement. That is the statement of budgeted estimates and actual. That's the third one that we're going to be looking at. And then the last thing will be notes. To the accounts but our focus today is going to be on the first two that is the statement of financial performance and then the statement of financial position so go to your book there I'm not going to be doing a lot of uh, workings there I just want to show you the pro forma of what goes into it in relation to that so you could see from the statement of financial performance there that we have the revenue, we have the expenses. When we subtract the revenue from the expenses, we get what? Surplus or deficit. So here we are not looking at net profit or loss. Rather, we are looking at what? Surplus or deficit. So when do we say there is surplus? When do we say there is deficit? Surplus okay, so the revenue is more than the expenses, then we say there is surplus, and then there is deficit when the expenses are more than what? The revenue. Are you, are you getting it? Is it? It's common in Ghana. <laughs> it's actually common everywhere. It's actually common everywhere. Almost in most places, in as far as public sector companies are concerned. So, this is what you have to understand. The revenues there, we have the taxes, revenue, taxes, we have the fines, we have the fees, we have the Revenue from exchange transfers, revenue from other government entities, and we have other forms of what? Revenue. Expenses, we have wages, salaries, and emoluments. We have grants and other transfer payments, supplies and consumable use, depreciation and amortization. Now, the question you ask yourself is, yourself is why are we seeing depreciation and amortization here? Because you are going to be using what? The accrual basis for the preparation of the financial statement. So when we are using the accrual basis, then according to IPSAS 17, what is IPSAS 17? Property plant. Property plant and what? Equipment. According to that, the property plant and equipment would have to be what? Depreciated. So you're going to see the issue about uh, depreciation or amortization of uh, assets. Then certainly you're going to see impairment of assets, other expenses. Like I said, this is just a pro forma, so we could modify it a little bit as and when we go about in relation to that. Then you look at a statement of financial position. What do we have there? Cash and cash equivalent. These are cash deposits, cash in bank, cash in hand. All these things are cash and cash equivalent. Receivables inventories 
prepayment of expenses, short-term investment, all these are forms of current assets. Then we come to the non-current assets, we have long-term investments, infrastructure, property, plants and equipment, receivables in the long term, other financial assets, land and building, intangible assets, and then some other assets as well. So the same concept we use in financial reporting, where we say assets equals capital plus liability, that's the same concept we use here. Only that, in public sector, there will not be capital. Rather, there will be what is called what? Accumulated fund, okay? The accumulated fund represents the capital or the equity in the public sector. So in place of equity shares, you are going to be seeing what? The accumulated fund. So like you can see from your balance sheet there, you realize that you are rather seen under equity, you are seeing capital contributed by other government entities, reserves and then what? Accumulated surplus or deficit. So the accumulated fund is more or less like the capital for the public sector organization and we're going to be looking at that in in a moment in relation to that under liabilities you see the things you know already long-term liabilities but my focus most importantly is on the current liabilities where you see payables you're going to be doing workings for that employment benefits short-term borrowings superannuations or retirement payments all of these things you may be doing workings for them in relation to that. Now, for those of you watching online, this is, uh, I'm actually going through this from my uh, public sector accounting book in relation to that. I see a comment, I'll refer to that in a moment and answer that, all right? So, let's go. Now, let's begin the journey. In solving every final account question in public sector, statement of financial performance, statement of financial position, there are some core workings that you have to do. I've been able to come up with about 17 of those workings that you are going to be doing. Now don't scream out and say it's too much, but that's it. In the book, how many workings do I have there? So you're going to have workings for direct what? Taxes. Indirect taxes, employment, or employee emolument. Number four, you're going to have non tax revenues. <coughs> Number five, you're going to have goods and services. Number six, you're going to have grants that you are receiving. Number seven, statutory government transfer. Number eight, social benefits. Number nine, public debt interest. Number ten, Infrastructure. Number 11, property, plant, and equipment. 12, payables. 13, receivables. 14, financial assets. 15, Public debt in public debt in total. And then what did I skip? What did I skip? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, thirteen. Oh, so fifteen. Yeah, fifteen, not seventeen, fifteen. Now, these are the core workings you will be doing. But let's answer the question. What does direct taxes entail? What does indirect taxes entail? What constitutes employee emoluments? What constitutes non-tax revenues? What are goods and services? When we say grants, what are they? When we say statutory government transfers, what are they? Social benefits, what does it include? Public debt interest, what, what is it make up of? 
infrastructure, property plans and equipment, payables, receivables, financial assets. What do they include? So let's start with the beginning. Remember we did sources of revenue, right? This is where I told you about it, that when we are, when we are doing final accounts preparation, the sources of revenue we did will come here. So what are direct taxes? What are direct taxes? Yes? What are direct taxes? We did this under sources of revenue. Obinchi and Trone and Kwe. Okay. The accessible income of individuals and companies. Okay. So compulsory payment from the accessible income of individual and what companies. All right. So what are what is a tax? What is a tax? Gina, what is tax? Is it? Yeah, compulsory payments. Uh -huh. Compulsory payments on levies. Compulsory payment or levies. Or I want to get your definition well. Speak well, please. You can say me your definition here. It's a compulsory levy imposed on taxable persons. Imposed on taxable persons. That's not a full definition. If we say everybody is a taxable person, so taxes are what? Alexander. So the uh, compulsory payments, body and economic benefits or service potential, backed by law. Okay, backed by law. All right. People are trying to configure things from the standards we are knowing and make up definitions. Yes, pressures, Ta direct taxes. Sorry. Taxes are compulsory payment uh -huh. um, on persons by government uh -huh. for engaging in taxable activities. Okay, for engaging in taxable activities. All right. Okay, so we say that taxes are compulsory levied on the income of individuals or goods and services. All right, with with uh, with which there is no what. Direct benefits in return for what the money that the government is receiving. Is tax an exchange revenue or a non-exchange revenue? Non-exchange. Non-exchange revenue. Right. So under the direct taxes, what are the components here? We have corporate tax. We have payee, pay as you earn, or the taxes on employees' income. That will be there, these two components usually. And then sometimes there could be uh, taxes on gifts, can also be a, 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 a component that will come here in relation to that. But this is where you have to understand. The same way we dealt with footnotes in the financial reporting, in PSA it is there. So if in the footnotes, now in the trial balance you will see corporate tax, you will see employee income tax. In the footnotes, if they say taxes outstanding for the year, what do you do? You add it to this figure. Now, if that tax is outstanding for the year, it means that it will become what? Receivables. True or false? So that will be part of what? Our receivables. So any tax outstanding that had not been received by the end of the year will be part of what? The receivables, which will be taken to the statement of financial position. So make sure you get that very well. Indirect taxes, levied on goods and services, so VAT, excise duties, custom duties, taxes on exports, all of those things will come here. Again, if there is anything in the footnotes about indirect taxes, you're going to add it here and you take it as well towards your receivables. Employee emolument, this is a regular customer. Established post, non-established post, allowances of staff, all of those things will come under this. Now, if there is an employee or salaries outstanding at the end of the year in the footnotes, where do we take it to? Salary outstanding at the end of the year in the footnotes, where do we take it to? Payables. Payables. 
So you got to be careful about that. So in the footnotes, if there is any employee or salary that is outstanding, it will go under payables. Non-tax revenues. This is where the issues about fees, fines, what? Penalties. Is it? Penalties. Penalties. Uh -huh. Property rates. Property rates. So all of those others will come under what? Non-tax revenue. Goods and services. Which people come under this? This is an expenditure for information. So this is the cost that the government incurs in the running of its day-to-day -day activities. So what are some of the things that will come under goods and services? Advertising. Payment Advertising. Payment of utilities. Utilities. Stationary. Stationary. TNT. TNT. Or procurement. Internal. Procurement. External and internal and external travels. Per diem. Conferences, workshops, seminars, training and capacity building, a lot. A lot. Now, if there, if there is anything in the footnotes in relation to goods and services, where does it go? If there is anything in the footnotes in relation to goods and services, let's say utilities outstanding or per diem outstanding, where does it go? Yeah. Payables because it's an expenses, isn't it? And at the end of the year, we hadn't paid it, so we need to what? Pay it. Then we come to the next element, grants. What is a grant? What is a grant? You remember I told you about grants in two ways. Either the entity is receiving the grant or what? Giving the grant. So what is a grant? Is it an exchange revenue and non-exchange revenue? Non-exchange. Non-exchange revenue. Okay. So what is a grant? Come on, come on. We did grants now. I gave you the definition for grants. Pa pa pa. You were not here. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. Two of my phenomenal. But I went to the weekend. Eh. Yeah, the examples that I was looking through and in the form of some discounts given to uh, private owners who go into business with government. Okay, so you are looking at it from uh, that perspective. That's government giving. Giving the grants yes. to businesses for them and undertaking I, yes. something. Yes. Okay, okay. It, it is the financial or non-financial assistance mm -hmm. by government okay. entities for um, provided they fulfill uh, or fulfill or meet some requirements. requirements conditions conditions you see the two of you, your minds are all in IAS 20 <laughs> how about bringing your mind to IPSAS 21 Grants are, like you said, financial or non-financial assistance either received by government from donor communities or international organizations or paid by government to other what? entities. Are you getting it? So I told you grants in two ways. Now, the other side of grant is what we call what? The statutory transfer. So if we are dealing with a consolidated fund, the government uh, gives grants into other accounts, it becomes what? An expenses. So this one, statutory government transfer, this one is an expenses. But bilateral grants received, multilateral grants received, grant from IMF, grant from China, where they are coronavirus, so they can't give us any grant again. But uh, Germany may give us some grant, Italy too, they, they can't give us grant, there's coronavirus there. So that is the idea about that. But statutory government transfers include district assembly common ones. Fund. Get fund. Okay? Contingency fund. So any transfer that the government has to make from the consolidated fund to these other statutory funds, these are what? Expenses. Are you getting the concept? They are expenses from the consolidated fund. However, I told you something. If we are operating from the perspective of the local government, then that statutory government transfer they receive becomes what? A revenue to them. 
You remember that? Becomes a revenue to them. So their receiving becomes a revenue. But if we are operating from the consolidated fund perspective, that is an expenses. That is an expenses. Next one. Social benefits. What are social benefits? I remember we defining social benefits under IPSAS something. What is social benefit? Okay, give me an example of social benefit. Free SHS. School feeding. School feeding program. National health insurance scheme. Transportation. Free maternal care. Free maternal care. Is it still available? <laughs> it's still available. Hey, free maternal care. <laughs> People would give them rough rough like that. <laughs> <laughs> so social what? benefits. All those things are government what? expenses. So what do they do? We put them under social benefits. Then we come to public debt interest, where you're a regular customer. Government borrows a lot. So at the end of the year, they are going to be paying what? Interest. So the interest they pay is what? And expenses to us we need to look at it then there is an item I skip and that is subsidies that is also expenses to the government subsidies on commodities subsidies on fuel subsidies on uh, agriculture products all of these forms are also what expenses that government incurs in relation to that what are infrastructure what are Infrastructure. We define infrastructure under IPSA 17. I remember we defined it. No, it was qualified. Like it was no. We said it's difficult to define. Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. So give me some of the characteristics. It's it's immovable. It's immovable. Yeah, it is part of a system or a network. Okay, part of a system or a network. It's difficult. To, it has no alternative use. Okay. Or it's a specialized asset. Asset, alright. So, infrastructure assets also, we may be doing workings for it, but the good news is that sometimes infrastructure assets may be like uh, assets that the government is doing in work in progress. So, at the end of the year, they may transfer infrastructure assets into property, plant, and what? Equipment at the end of the year. Now, under property, plants, and equipment, this is where depreciation is going to come to town. Are you getting it? You're going to be doing depreciation here. Either a straight line method, reducing balance method, or what? The production unit method. So whatever it is that is in the question, we are going to be doing that for the examiner. I've already mentioned about payables and then receivables. Then there could be financial assets. These are various investments that the government makes. If government buys shares in some companies, and in a company, that is what? A financial asset. So those kind of investments, they are straight up balance sheet items. Remember, we are using accrual basis. If we are using accrual basis, then those capital expenditure cannot be written off, but rather must be what? Capitalized in relation to that. So these are some of the core def uh, workings that you'll be looking at in relation to that your challenge will be identifying where to put what that is the challenge any question on this the, the, the grants the yeah. grants and the statutory government transfer yeah so you you explain grants in two ways where the government gives and the government receives yeah my question is the so the grants here is it for receiving or right so it depends on where the grant is on the trial balance. If the grant is on the credit side, it means it's an income. So the institution is receiving. But if you see grant and it's on the debit side, it means they are what? Giving it out. So that is an expenses. So that is how you distinguish between whether the entity is paying or what? Receiving the grant. Where it is on the trial balance. If it's on the credit side, it's an income. If it's on the debit side, it is what? An expenses. So if they are mixed. Is it? If they are mixed. If they are mixed and it is quiet, then we will assume that the government receives it. We assume that the government receives it. Especially if we are dealing with a consolidated fund. We assume that the government receives it. Alright. 
So let's look at the questions here. Please check it and see some of them, the final was not too clear, so you check for me. We are going to do question one. There are three questions there, and you are going to solve the rest two as an assignment, which I will take next week. You say we should also learn for the test. Which one is that one? Saga. <laughs> so let's go to the question one. Everybody has. So we are. What is the requirement of the question? What's the requirement of the question? Require. Mm -hmm. Prepare in accordance with the financial laws of Ghana. Yeah. A chart of account of government and relevant accrual basis. Okay. Exercise. Suitable for publication. The following statement. A. Statement of financial performance of the consolidated fund account for the year ended 31st December 2017. Good. B. Statement of financial position of the consolidated fund account as at the end as at the year ended 31st December 2017. C. Complete schedule of workings to support the figures in the statement of financial performance and statement of financial position. Alright. D. Present five arguments for and against the adoption of accrual basis tips by the government of Ghana. Alright. Alright. So we don't just start and why you can't get mm, the one I, I got was this is full. This is full. This is full. Mm -hmm. The one behind. Oh. Then take this. Take this. I'll put the E version also in the group. Alright, so let me quickly read some comments on YouTube quickly. Uh, Augustine Boatin, I'm watching live from New York, USA. Good afternoon to everyone there. It's good evening here. Uh, direct taxes are paid by companies on chargeable income. Okay, you are giving us the definition. Tax is a compulsory income on governments levied or imposed on taxable individuals and companies. Grants could mean a non-payable fund paid by one party to another as a financial aid. Okay, that's some excellent definition there. Thank you, Augustine. Let's go. So, like I said, we're going to be starting with the workings. Please pay close attention to me. We are solving question one. The two and three, you're going to be doing it as an assignment. How do we do our workings? Now, go to the preamble of the question and read it to me. Let's go to the preamble. The beginning of the question. The government of Ghana mm -hmm. has adopted the full accrual basis, international public sector accounting standards, as the basis of accounting for its financial statement for the year ended 31st December 2017. The following balances were transactions during the year relating to the consolidated fund account for the year ended 31st December 2017. All right. So we see it there. Let's go. Now, please stay with me. I'm going to exhaust the board. When I finish, you write, then we continue. Very, very important. So what do I do? I set out my working sheet. So this is my working sheet. I'm going to set it out. So how do I set it out? I know that workings one, I'm going to work for direct taxes. I'm going to leave a reasonable space and go to workings two, indirect taxes. And then I'm going to jump to this place and talk about non-tax revenue. 
Then I'm going to leave a reasonable space and come to four. Then I'll talk about employee emoluments. Then I may skip that a bit and go to the next workings and I'm going to do, what, what, what else did we list down? Goods and services. Then I could skip a bit and go to six and I will talk about, what else? Infrastructure. What? Infrastructure. infrastructure. That would be too far. Give me something below infrastructure. Grants, okay. So let's deal with it. Then we'll go to the next sheet to infrastructure. But as we do, if there is anything, I'll just keep it in here. Let me do this. Goods and services, in my mind, let me do payables here. Let me do seven, receivables here. Let me rule a line here, and then let me do eight here for grants. I'm just trying to economize my board. Okay, so let's go. The way you go about this is to look at the items one after the other. Any item on the credit side means two things. Either it is a revenue or a liability, right? Either it's a revenue or a liability. So what is the first item we see there? Corporate income tax. What is corporate income tax? It's a revenue. What kind of revenue? Direct tax. So, corporate income tax. How much we got? 645,000. 645,000. Go. Custom and excise duties. What is that? Revenue. Which kind of revenue? No, it's not indirect. indirect tax. I had a wagon here, and now we be able to to moon junior customs and excise duties. Duties. How much we got? Seven fifty thousand. Seven fifty thousand. Next. The value added taxes. What is that? Indirect. Indirect, right? So that. How much we got? Four fifty thousand. What else? Employee income tax. Pay. Where is that? Direct. Direct. Direct tax. So employee, let me just put the payee they wrote there. How much? 340. 340,000. We go. Fees and charges for services. What is that? Fees and charges for services. Non-tax revenue. Non-tax revenue. Fees, 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 right? So now tax revenue. So fees, how much? 320. Okay. What else? Dividend income. What is that? Dividend income. It's a non-tax word. Revenue. How much? 120,000. Now, this is what you can also do. Um, the dividend income could be brought on the face of the financial statement as a separate item. Okay? So, some, some uh, people will not add it to the non tax revenue, but it could be brought on the face of the financial statement already. That is also correct. That is also correct. Next item Multilateral grant. So, where do we go? Multilateral grants. How much we got? One forty thousand. Ever see you? Bilateral grants. Two thirty thousand. Two thirty thousand. Mhm. Mm Fines, penalties, and forfeiture. What is that? Non tax what? Revenue. Revenue. So fines, penalties, and for features? Two one five thousand. Two one five thousand. Ever you? Recoveries of loans and advances. What is the meaning of that? 
recoveries of loans and advances. What is the meaning of that? Now, you don't just pick the item and bring it to somewhere because it has to be somewhere. No. You must understand what you are bringing there. Recoveries of loans and advances. What is that? What is the meaning of that? Means um, loans that were accrued to them, mm -hmm. people that were owing them, the amount of money they've been able to recover. Okay. Let's see uh, how this also. It may also mean that uh, the government advances loans to staff. Yeah. And that they were able to recover. This particular amount during during the year. Any other view? Yeah, Alexander. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that is where you have to come from. Recover anytime you hear the word recovery, it means that the thing has been written off in the previous year, but now the entity has what? Recovered it. So it becomes a revenue to the organization. If it was just repayment of loan notes, they would tell us repayment of loans and advances. But if they use the word recoveries of loan notes, it means that they have written it off as bad, but now the people are able to what, pay. And this is done. The government can borrow from the consolidated fund. Loans can be given out of the consolidated fund. But at the end of the year, the government can decide, that is the controller accountant general, can decide that, oh, this money will not be able to receive it because maybe the person is not working again. But if in the next year the person is now reinstated, that means the person can what? Now pay the money. So that becomes what? A revenue. So get this very well. Get this very well. So that is why we will take it under what? The non-tax revenue. 80,000. Eighty thousand. What else? External borrowing during the year. Was that public debt, right? Yeah. Shoo, shoo, shoo. I'm gonna put it here. That was public debt. Go to the trustee and tell him that there is any opening balance on public debt. Go to the trial balance and see if there is any opening balance on public debt. Do you see trial balance? Yes. Did I say trial balance? Opening balances. Can you see that? No, we have external debt. Okay, so that's the balance brought forward, right? How much you got? 280,000. Okay. It's very important to bring the opening. Then give me the one that we took during the year. 190,000. Okay. So loans during the year one ninety thousand. Okay. Trust Go. funds. Trust funds. What are trust funds? What are trust funds? What are trust funds? Come on, we talk about trust too. Sir, just listen to the word trust fund. This is a fund account. <laughs> it's a fund. <laughs> it's a fund account. So what kind of fund account? So that's <laughs> so monies are put there in trust of the. So is it a revenue, an expenditure, an asset, a liability, or a capital? It's an asset. Any asset. It's a liability. Why? Because these are monies that the government is holding in trust. That means that in the near future, it has to be. Good. So it's a liability. It's a non-current, non-current what? Liability. So what is trust fund? You see, like the word suggests, it means that that money is not for government. But government is holding that money on behalf of probably another entity or some companies or some individuals. For that reason, if the time is due, the government will now give the money to what? The people. It's like someone dies and the, uh, the person's children are below 18. 
the person's property will be entrusted either to what the government or to an organization is the property for the government no so it becomes what a liability so please trust funds is a balance sheet item and that will go under non-current liabilities you good okay next one travel pay. Yeah. so please asterisk that out because you know we will not touch it so that when we get to the balance sheet, you know, we're going to be bringing that up. Travels per diem. In fact, I record. Goods and services. I hope you know per diem. Hey, sorry. Um, what are travel per diem? Allowances for traveling. For traveling. It's nice, eh? Very. <laughs> One thirty-five thousand. So you travel, you go on a trip to China, you chill in the luxurious hotel. On top of that, they give you money on top. It's nice, be asked. Three, four, five. Okay, that's so sad. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Repayment of external borrowing during the year. Repayment of external borrowing during the year. Where does it come? Public debt. Remember, this is the opening balance. And during the year, we borrowed 190. So if we are repaying, what do we do? We less it. So repayment. How much we got? 85,000. 85,000. Oh, oh, a car, a very 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 small next one loans and advances granted during the year loans and advances granted during the year loans and advances granted during the year it means i need to do workings for that but keep it up uh maybe do a take for it i'll do workings for that on the on the next slide when, when we clean okay so just mark that out next one Financial investment during the year. I'll do workers for that also on the next slide. Next one. Com compensation to employees. Established posts. So we come here, isn't it? And the employees. So established posts. How much we got? 125,000. 125,000. Next one. Seminar and workshops. Where does that go? All right. Seminar and workshops. How much we got? 100,000. Next. Training and capacity building. Where does that go? Goods and services. Training and capacity building. 115,000. 115,000. I'm coming. Pause. I think I see some questions there. Let me try to. Uh, reply on them. Um, Ogunleke, sorry if I mention your name wrong, okay? Uh, Ogunleke, you say, how can I get a working question? You can send me here on Skype uh, at Premium Educator and a question will be sent to you. Trust funds are monies paid to the government to act as trustees on behalf of their other parties. Okay, Augustine, thank you for that. Okay, so thank you. Let's go. Next one. 13% SSF contribution. Where does that go? Employee. It's part of what? Employees benefit. That is the second tier. I hope you know about the, those things. First tier is the 5.5% what the employee pays. Second tier is 13% what the employer pays. And then we have third tier. That is an optional. That can be paid either by the employee or by the employer or the two of them coming together. So as government, he has to pay 13% of SSF. How much? 33150. Be like that? Yes. No. 3310. Three. Uh, 10 like this. Yes. Okay. Go. Staff allowances. Where does that go? Employee what? Emolument. How much? 45, 45, zero. Okay. So, the first page of the trial balance 
we are done with that. However, there, are, there were two items, sorry, three items that we didn't touch, isn't it? The yes. trust fund, the loans and advances granted, anything, financial, financial investment during the year. So we'll deal with that later. Next one. Administrative costs. Okay, where does that go? Goods and services. So administrative cost. How much we got? Thirty-five six hundred. Thirty-five thousand six hundred. Transfer to the root fund. Mm -mm. What is happening here? What workings does this will this come on? Statutory. Statutory what? Government transfer. So <coughs> I'm gonna clean this guy up. I'll replace seven with statutory government transfer. Statutory government transfer. And these are expenses, isn't it? So when we go to the income statement, that's an expenses. Transfer to the road fund. Yeah. How much we got? 75,000. Okay. Now, in the exam hall, you have a lot of space available. So you just write them out and do all your workings throughout. Next item. Transfer to the District Assembly Common Fund. Okay. Transfer to District Assembly Common Fund. How much? 55,450. We are going to be doing something to this figure in a moment and the footnotes. So be careful on the treatment of this item. So I'm going to asterisk that out. Next. Compensation to employees, non-established posts. Where does it go? Emoluments. What's the difference between established and non-established? Yeah. Permanent staff. Okay, so these guys are temporary, national service security, sorry, national service personnel, and then permanent staff. Contract based. Contract based also. How much do I have? 65,000. Next. Foreign, foreign traveling costs. Where does that go? Foreign traveling costs. Yeah. So, Akufado goes to Switzerland. Right. Yeah, play it. 150,000. 150,000. So, that is it. Next one. Other expenses. This one, you don't bring it under anything. It will come straight on the face of what? The financial statement. Okay? So you don't classify that under anything. We will bring it on the face of the financial statement. So mark that out. When we get there, we will deal with that. Next one. Purchase of property, plant, and equipment. Mark it out. On the next slide, I'm going to work on that. Expenditure on infrastructure during the year. Mark it out. On the next page, I'm going to work on that. External debt interest page. Did I do workings for external debt? No, we have public debt, but the interest we don't have. So mark it out on the next page. Subsidies on utilities. Okay. What else? Social benefits. Okay. Transfer to get fund. Where does that go? Uh, statutory. statutory government or transfer. So transfer to get fund. Ghana Education Trust Fund. How much we got? 140,000. 140,000. What else? Repairs and maintenance. Where does that go? Goods and services. So repairs and maintenance. How much we got? Two one six nine hundred. All right. So now you finish with the trial balance. We've not touched everything else, but we go to the footnote to see what's happening in the footnote. So take me to the footnote and let's see what's happening in the footnote. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the following additional information is available. Okay. Opening balances extracted from the We've seen that, right? Yes. Yes, we've seen that. So let's go to notes two. During the year, mm -hmm. the Parliament of Ghana approved a transfer of 10% of total tax revenue to the um district as in the common. What is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? Means ten percent 
um, there was 10% transfer of total tax revenue where um, it was transferred to the um, dishes as a become. So, we need to get a total tax revenue and transfer what? 10%. But how much have they actually paid? 55450. 55, so when we get the 10%, that 10% is rather what will come here, and then the difference will become what? Payables in the balance sheet. Do you understand that? Why would they do why would they do? Because government has not paid it. They are supposed to pay 10% of this to the district assembly common uh, common fund. But how much have they paid? Only this. So if they paid less than what they are supposed to pay, the difference will have to be taken to where? Payables. And we'll build on that after we get a total tax revenue. Let's go. As at 31st December. Do you understand it? Uh, you can't really relate it to this amount. You can't? You can't relate it the 10% payment to the 55,000. We can. This is the reason. Because we are supposed to pay 10% of the total tax revenue to the District Assembly Common Fund. That's what we are supposed to pay. But the trial balance tells us what we have actually paid. Do you get a difference? So the 10% is what you are supposed to pay. What is in the trial balance, this 55450, is what you have actually paid. So if you calculate what you are supposed to pay and what you have actually paid, the difference has to go to payables. Meaning that under statutory payment, transfer to the National Assembly Common Fund shouldn't be this figure, but should be the 10% on what? The total tax revenue. Do you get it? I should say, I'm taking my tax. No, 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 no. <laughs> that would be uh -huh. a statement to tell you that the um, um, amount has been paid and that this, um, the total amount is supposed to be this. And uh -huh. this, how, how much uh, this is the statement they have given us. In the trial balance, go back to where, where is this statement in the trial balance? Let's see where it is and let's see how it is stated. It says, have you seen it? Transfer to what? The district assembly common fund is on the debit side 55450. Do you see that? Yes. Then let's go to that footnote. It says during the year, Parliament of Ghana approved a transfer of 10% of total tax revenue to the district assembly common fund. 10% of total tax revenue. That is how much the government is supposed to give. It's obliged. It's obliged to pay. But they actually paid only what? 55, 45. So the state, these two things, the one in the trial balance is what they have paid, the one in the footnote is what they are supposed to what, pay. And nothing at the difference will become what they are standing for the year. Yes, Elvis. Because So, sir, what if uh, the 55,000 is bigger than the 10%? Thousand? It cannot be bigger. That is the good news. It cannot be bigger. That is the good news. Because governments cannot transfer more than what is approved by parliament. But they will always transfer less than what is approved by parliament. So that is a sweet spot. That's a sweet spot. Jim, what do you think? Do you get it now? You sure? Okay. Okay. So let's go. So that is note three, right? Hey, note two. Let's go to note three. That's at 31st December 2017. Uh huh. Corporate tax assessments amounting to 15 million Ghana cities was still outstanding to be paid by corporate entities to government. What is that? Everything in the footnote must be treated twice. Once in the income statement, the other in the statement of financial position. Or yes. position. Oh, because I'm confusing me. <laughs> so what do we do with that? This is receivables. So did I do my case for it? Oh, I've claimed the receivables. Don't worry. But it has to go under when? Direct taxes as outstanding. So outstanding corporate what? Tax. How much is it? 15 million. Okay. Don't be tempted to write 15,000 because in the trial balance, you know, one part three zeros are to top. So you have to write the whole 50 million. I hope you are getting the treatment. Go. Now, so this figure will go under receivables, but that will be on our next slide. 
So make sure when we get there, we remember. Next one. The total amount of VAT um, owed to government as of 31st December 2017 stood at 50 million cities. Pause. VAT outstanding at the end of the year, 50 million. What is that? What is that? Receivables. So we must add it to where? The indirect taxes as outstanding VAT. Are you following? How much is it? 15 million. 15 million. Like I said, no three zeros are. So everything will go. Then go to the next information. It is estimated that 10% of the amount outstanding is unlikely to be paid by one firm that has folded up. What is the meaning of that? 10% of that 50,000 50, is not going to be paid. So what is that? Bad debt. Bad debt, isn't it? Right. So that will go to the statement of financial what? Performance. So provision for bad debt. That will be ten percent of this. That will be how much? Ten percent of fifty million. Five million. Five million. 5 million. Listen to me carefully. It means how much of that do we take to receivables? This minus this. Do you agree? Yes, 25. So in receivables, we can't take 50 million debt. It will be 50 million minus what? The bad debt. But remember that this bad debt will go to the statement of financial what? performance as an expenses. Next note. The government of Ghana is unlikely to be able to comply with the conditions for half of the bilateral grants received during the year. What is the meaning of that? It means um, for the amount you are supposed to receive of bilateral grants, you are supposed to halve it. We are supposed to? Halve it. Uh -huh. Yes, because it's saying that government is unlikely to comply with the conditions. Okay. For half of the bilateral. Okay, so how do we then account for that half? You only recognize grants if you fulfill what? The requirements. So, this is revenue to the government. But we are told that bilateral grants, you know, half of it will not be fulfilled by what? The government. So, since they can't fulfill it, it means they can't recognize it as revenue for this year. Rather, they must recognize it as what? A deferred income. So that will go under non current towards liabilities. Do you understand? <laughs> Do you understand the concept? Yes. So half of the grants cannot be fulfilled. So we cannot recognize the whole 230. It is our half now. We cannot fulfill no? It must be deferred. So if it is deferred, we have to take it to the balance sheet as a deferred income. So grants to defer will be 230 divided by what? 2. And that will be 115. And that will be deducted. And when we go to the balance sheet, this figure will be there. Statement of financial position will be there. Please. Remember the explanations I am giving. We are not bringing the things because we are bringing them, but because of the statements that are what surrounding them. Next item. External debt in interest amounting to 25 million cities was due, but not paid to the financial constraints, but not paid due to the financial constraints during the year. What is that? We saw an interest in the trial balance, isn't it? And I told you we will do workings for that on the next page. But this is outstanding. Where does outstanding go? Payables. So go to the trial balance and let's see if there is any openings for payables. Any openings? Yes, sir. How much? 210,000. 210,000. Now be careful about the trial balance there because they have put three zeros up there. 
Do you get it? Mm -hmm. It means we are supposed to write 21 million yen, 210 million yen. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yes. Because you have to be careful about the zeros in this question. It wasn't uniform, so you must bring it back. So, external debt, debt interest, outstanding. How much is it? 25 million. 25 million. Remember, this will be added to the total debt interest, which we will work for on the next slide. Next thought. On 31st December 2017, 60% uh -huh. of infrastructure expenditure was transferred to property, plant, and equipment. No, P. We will work on that on the next slide when we are dealing with infrastructure, property, plant, and what? Equipment. Next note. It is the policy of government to provide for consumption of fixed assets on property, plant, and equipment at 25% of cost. Okay, so that is also about what? Consumption, so depreciation of assets. So we will deal with that also when we are calculating depreciation of assets. Final notes. Salaries and other emoluments outstanding during the year amounted to 30 million cities. So where do we go? Right? So outstanding salaries, how much? 30 million. So 30 million. Then it will come under where? Payables. Salaries outstanding. 30 million. What else? Wow. Well, that of use of goods and services amounted to 17 million five hundred thousand. So where do we go? Goods and services. So outstanding. 17 million 500,000 500, and that one will also come under where? Yeah. payables mm. how much? 17 500. there you go are we done? no this is first half so please write and let's continue I have a question. Yes. There is uh, a standard debt in the opening balances. Yeah. Of which I thought since we had. We brought it. So, uh, 280. And then the one that was during the year, and then we less what? The payments. The payments. Eric Nano, good evening, Shira. Yeah, good evening, Eric. Can you please help me with a question? Yeah, you can send me hi on Skype at Premium Educator and you'll get a question. So send me a message on Skype at Premium Educator for the question. Yeah, Eric Nano, 
you can send me hi on Skype, okay? You can get a question via Skype. So you send me hi on Skype. Now the good news is that in your exam hall you won't do have a lot of things like this. So the exams will be quite below this. But you know in class, so I need to pack you guys and use your brain. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment box, the chat box, and I'm going to reply all your questions for you. For the public tip, the second loans during the year.
Nino, you said your question is too long. So you try to send it in pieces. Yeah, that would be good. So break it down into short pieces and send them in. So I can reply them for you. A mineral project is projected to take three years to explore. Okay. What will be the treatment if a provision for bad debt set earlier shows a decrease and under what headings will it appear? Now, Ninoy, a decrease in provision for bad debt is a benefit to the government. Okay? So that will be part of the non, uh, will be part of the revenue. So when you write the revenues, after you bring all your revenue items, so you bring reduction in provision for bad debt. So provision for bad debt reduction, it's a benefit to the government. If it is an increase, then that will be part of the expenses. So you won't bring it under any of the headings. You will bring it on the face of the financial statement. And development and, and, and develop a mine and production will start on the fourth year. The project has the oh, okay, me sorry. That was Augustine's question. Yeah. So Augustine, reduction in bad debts, it's a benefit to the government, so that comes under revenue. We don't bring it under any headings, but it will come on the face of the financial statement. Following cost and revenue streams. Production cost, 20 million US dollars per year. For the life of the project of eight years. Okay. Yeah, Nino, I'm following your question, so you can go. Capital investment of forty million dollars. Forty million dollars in year one, year two, and year three, respectively. Okay, let's go. Okay, Nino, I think I get your question now. So this is on advanced taxation. So let me go through it for you to see. Okay. This is the treatment. You put all the expenses prior to production in a single pool. Okay? You put all the expenses prior to production in a single pool. Then, the year that production starts, you calculate uh, the capital allowance on a straight line basis on that. So, from, the, from what you said, you said the life of the project is eight years. And uh, they've incurred a production cost of 20 million. 
So you're going to divide the 20 million by 8. That will give you the annual capital allowance. Then every year, that is how much you deduct from the respective revenues that you have uh, given to me. And then that will give you the chargeable income respectively. I hope you get a concept. Let me know if you understand what I've just said. So since we are done with direct taxes and indirect taxes, non-tax revenue to be are done, employment emolument we are done, add the totals for me, public debt we are done, add the total, grants we are done, add the total for me. I think payables too we are done, add the totals. Goods and services we are done at the totals, so work on the totals for me respectively. Okay, so Ni, this is not really about being an economic student. You said I'm not an economic student, so I'm finding it difficult to understand. This is the meaning. Give me a moment. The production cost is $20 million. So you divide that by eight, that will give you the annual capital allowance chargeable. Okay, that will give you the annual capital allowance chargeable. So for year one, for instance, they made a revenue of 100 million. So you would deduct the 20 over eight from that 100 million and that will give you the taxable income. Okay, or that will be the chargeable income for the company for the first year. The second year you do the same thing, third year you do the same thing. So it will be on a straight line basis for the depreciation or for the capital allowance computation. Let me know if it is clear or not. Anybody done with this guy? What are we getting? 16 million. Okay. Three zeros. Two. Okay, two zeros. So it means eighteen million four hundred and sixty-two thousand five hundred. Please confirm, because you will never know it's not balance here. Let me make a chibi. Who else has spoke something? Um, the first one, direct taxes. How much you got? Fifteen nine eighty five thousand. Fifteen million nine hundred and eighty five thousand. Okay. Public debt interest. Who got it? No tax revenues. Think we done there? So sum it up. Public debt. Public debt. Three forty-five thousand. Three hundred and forty-five thousand. Who is confirming? Yeah. Is it 
Okay, how was it? Uh, those opening balance was a million, right? Yeah. So it has to be 20 million. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. So let's do that again. That's our one bed confirmation. So this one is a bulk figure. So please change it for me. So Gina, if you do it, what will you get now? You are an accounting student. <laughs> 280 million. Uh huh. 105,000. You got it. I know, Santa. Oh, my God. You zero. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, new boy, you said you get it now. What about the taxes and net profit? Okay. Because of the change. Oh, okay. Ni, the tax for mining companies is 35%. That is the tax rate now, 35%. So after you deduct the capital allowance from the revenue, the figure you get, 35% of that will be the tax for the company. That is a tax liability payable, 35% standard for all mining companies. Who is giving me some figures, baby? Obi me figure here. And I will know who you for it. No tax revenue. What you got? 735,000. 735,000. Debbie, who's it? 735,000. Debbie, start, who's it? 807. Okay, 807. No, 735,000. Okay. Alright, be like this? Yes. Okay. 735,000. Okay, Nino, you said I should take that again. I said the tax rate for, um, how do we call it? Mining companies is 35%. So when you bring the revenue and you subtract the capital allowance, the figure you get is the chargeable income. On that chargeable income, you do 35%. That is the tax rate. Which one? Hey, hey, same play, one of the Say they are standing number. So that one we are done. So give me total. The ones we are done, government way near you. So don't give me total. Okay? Don't give me total there. Nobody has given me indirect taxes, so. Nobody got me covered there. So payables. Payables. 255 million. 255 million. And 500. Okay, oh. 255 million and 500,000. Be like this? Yes, sir. Okay. Who is confirming? Somebody is confirming. When they are going to see the DAT, I don't know why they are making more. Louisa, you are not getting that figure. Eh? <laughs> Elvis is giving us bomb. <laughs> You buy us chocolates. <laughs> Elvis is giving us more. Be careful. That's one thing about this. If you don't punch well, you could be affected. And then, uh, 30 million, 268,600. 30 million, 268,600. Louisa? Uh, this is me. 282. Two eight. Where? 282. Two. Into 180. But I'm over in the I'm going to say, ah, I'm going to be 20. 282. Uh -huh. 500. Yes. Okay, like this. Yes. Please, somebody should confirm that for me. This is 210 million. 
this 17 million making 227 million this is 30 million making 257 million this is 25 million making 200 and hey 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 Okay, it could be it could be equal. It's correct, right? That means the help is you gave us more. In the right class. In the right class. Yeah, Louisa. Fifty one million two hundred thousand. Okay. Fifty one two hundred. Because this class this is twelve million. So definitely Yes, that's correct. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Are we done? So we are done with the workings. So please write the totals down if you have confirmed. And let's go to the second sheet for our concluding workings. Ninoy, thank you so much, sir. Okay, it's a pleasure. But you're not here the correction. And I'm going to be confirming. Mm. <laughs> Elvis, my bomb, I will be. Are you wearing a bomb, Anna? No, I think Louise's figure. Mm. Where? Oh, this one. This one. Hey, Louise has two years, baby. It should be what? She has to subtract the five million, five million out of. No, no, no. We are not subtracting the five million. Yes, we are not subtracting the five million because this is the thing. The whole revenue will be recognized, then the provision will be recognized as an expenses. So technically, it will be subtracted in the, in the financial statement, but we will recognize the whole 50 million. Are you getting it? So put the totals down, and let's go to the next slide. If you have any questions, put them in the chat box. I'll answer them for you. No payables, we are done. The only thing I said was that this figure we will take it under external debt interest, but we are done with everything there. Can I clean now? Everybody done? So let's go. Me do work it, I? Nine. Nine. Okay. Oh. The code 10. Now, so we can stand, we're going to do the public debt interest. We didn't do that, right? Public debt interest. So go to the trial balance and tell me what was paid during the year. What was paid during the year? Public debt interest. I told you to mark it out. You didn't mark. Did. How much is it? External debt. I think that was the word. One thirty-five thousand. One thirty-five thousand. Makes sense. Then the one outstanding at the end of the year, okay, will be added. <laughs> One ninety thousand. Hey, I. Who is it? I don't know what it is. Yeah, this one. It's one thirty-five. Louisa, where are you? I just want to 
That is the debt, the borrowing during the year, right? So 135, right? Then outstanding. This figure from the footnotes. 25 million. Why? They can't see the 135, man. People have lost that Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. So that's all. Get interest, yeah. We work is eleven. We said we will do workings forever as a receivables, isn't it? Give me the opening balance for receivables from the opening balance schedule. What's the opening balance for receivables? And I need receivables or you need receivables. Okay. So no opening. But what are the things I said if they will come under receivables? The directors. How much was the outstanding? Just go to your workings one and give me the figure there. Or you can still go to the footnotes. 15 million. 15 million. Then the indirect tax too, there was an outstanding. How much? 15 million. 15 million. Yes. And then I make a catch you say, you better see you better the provision for bad debts, which we calculated as what? 5 million. So it will be taken out. So this is the figure for our what? Receivable. Are these the only things we are supposed to receive? I guess so. Let me grab my workings paper. And my question paper so that we'll be on the same page. So, so total, yeah, we, what else did I say we'll be doing on the next page? Mm -hmm. Now that we have the total tax revenue, let's calculate the 10% transfer that will go to where? The District Assembly Common Fund. Are you following me? So give me total direct taxes. What figure did we get? Fifteen nine eighty five thousand. Fifteen nine eight five thousand. Give me the total indirect taxes. Uh, Fifty one two hundred thousand. Fifty one two hundred thousand. Right? Yes. Then the total will be what? So this is the total tax revenue. Six seven one eight five. Six seven one eight five one two three. Am I right? Okay, what did the note say? Go back to the note two or so. Is it note two? Yes. No, yeah, note two. What does it say? During the year, uh -huh. the Parliament of Ghana approved the transfer of 10% of total tax revenue to the District Assembly Common Fund. So this is the total tax revenue. So transfer to District Assembly Common Fund. Dispute Assembly Common Fund. So give me 10% of that. 67. 67. 18500. So that is what? 6,700,000. 18,500. Good. But how much did they give them during the year? Uh, 55,450. So we less payment during the year. 55. 450. Then this will now give us what? The outstanding to be paid. This was the work case I was talking to you about. Can I have an answer, please? 6 million 663,050. I know. Confirm. 6,663,050. So listen carefully. That is why I told you that there will be something to be done here. So when it comes to statutory government transfer, we will not write this particular figure. This particular figure is what has been transferred. But we need to bring what? The outstanding. So outstanding district assembly in common fund. How much? 666. Six, six. Uh-huh. 3050. Zero, zero. Okay. But since it is outstanding, it has to be added to what? Payables. No P. Do you, I hope you have space in your payables. Just bring it there. 
This must go to pay apples. So go to the house space. Yes, Okay. Go to space. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, so put it on direct. You have space? Yes, yeah, so put it on direct. Outstanding. This is a survey common fund transfer. And so you add it to that figure. Please, is everybody okay with the workings we just did? Very, very important. We are just following the statement the examiner made. I see the total 10% must go to this district assembly. But they paid only 55. So the balance is outstanding. The balance is outstanding. So you get a new payable figure, right? When you add this, you get a new payable figure. We good? So let's go. So this will be workings 12. So let's indicate here W12. Okay? Workings 12 for our reference purposes. What other workings did I say we'll be doing here? Infrastructure, right? We said we'll be talking about infrastructure. Do we have opening balance on the infrastructure? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so give me the opening balance. 245 million. Yes. Because there are three zeros up, right? Yes. Then during the year, how much did we pay? 750,000. So acquisition during the year. Can everybody see that? 750,000 in the trial balance. In the trial balance. Can we all see that? Okay. Then what else did they say about infrastructure? They said something in the footnote. On 31st December. That is note 7. 60% mm -hmm. of infrastructure expenditure was transferred to property plants and equipment. Good. So let's get a total infrastructure as at the end of the year. Total infrastructure. So add for me. 245,750. 245,750, one, two, three. Of this, 10% is being transferred to PPE. So transfer to property, plant, and equipment. Is it? What? 60%? Yes. So do 60% of that. 147. 147. 450,000. 450,000. Be like this. So take it out. This will now give us the infrastructure brought down. Or what will we take to the statement of financial position? Please. Do you understand? Are you okay? Any question, please? So, we get a total infrastructure, then we transfer 60% to BPE. What it means is this. If we are doing PPE, which is something I'll be doing here, we are going to be what? Adding this figure to the PPE. What do I have, please? 98 million. 98,300,000. Good. So that is our infrastructure property plan. Sorry, infrastructure. Yeah. Workings 14. Property plants and equipment. We are having an opening balance on that. Can you give that to me? 270 million. 270 million. Then we acquired some property, plants, and equipment during the year. So give it to me. 350,000. 
350,000. Then we get a total which will be 250,000. On this, the examiner said we should do provision for depreciation of how much? 25%. So be careful here about the statement I am making. When it comes to property, plant, and equipment, it's a capital expenditure. So we have to bring the opening balance, then we will add the ones we bought during the year to it. Then we will now charge depreciation on what? The net balance. That balance there. So depreciation. What is the percentage? 25% on what? Do you agree this is the cost? Do you agree this is the cost of your property <laughs> plant and equipment? <laughs> no, the transfer was made at the end of the year. In the very work is in and Sana in the transfer number. In the we won't do depreciation on the transfer because it was done on the, at the end of the year, 31st December. Assuming the transfer was done at the start of the year, then like we did the uh, acquisition, we would have brought a transfer, then we would charge depreciation on the net figure. Are we okay? So can I have 25% of that? Now, now, I ask the question, cost. Do you agree this is the cost of PPE? Do you agree? You have to agree. <laughs> Louis, have you agree? Somehow. Now, what was this 240? Was it a cost or it was the carry value? The that was the initial cost, right? Then the one we bought during the year will be added. So this is the total cost of our what? Property plants and equipment. Yes. 25%, what we got? 67 million. Uh-huh. 587,500. Be like this? We're going to less this now. Be careful here. This depreciation has to go to the face of the financial statement. True or false? This depreciation will go to the face of the financial statement under expenditures. So when we bring goods and services, employee and monument, statutory transfer, all of that, this depreciation is an expenses. So it will come on the face of the financial statement. Why am I saying that? Because from the opening balance, there was accumulated depreciation. What was it? In the opening balance? 120,000. So 120 million. This was provision for depreciation. Yes. So it's the same as accumulated depreciation. Okay. So at the start of the year, that is the provision for depreciation that they have been doing. So that is accumulated depreciation. So assuming we're using reducing balance method, listen to this carefully. Assuming we're using the reducing balance method, we would have taken the opening balance, less that figure, and then before we add what? This figure to do the depreciation. Because in reducing balance, depreciation is calculated on what? The carrying value of the asset. I know, a lot is happening in this question, I know, but... <laughs> You've got to be able to assimilate all of them at once. So, what is accumulated depreciation? 120 million. So, 120 million. So, we take that out. Give me the carrying value of our property, plant, and equipment. So, remember, I asterisk this, meaning we will take it to the financial statement on the face. But this one is provision, we will take it there. Can I have the value there? Eighty-two million. Uh huh. Seven hundred and sixty-two thousand. Uh huh. Five hundred six. Confirm. Inti, Gloria, this is where your question comes in. After you calculate the carrying value like this, you now bring what? The transfer from the infrastructure, property, plant, and equipment. <laughs> From the infrastructure, what do we have? 14 million, uh huh. 450,000. Into this is now the value for PPE that we will take to the statement of financial. Easy, 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 easy. 
Easy. <laughs> one four. Seven. Okay. One four seven four five. Am I right now? Everything is okay. Okay. Uh huh. Here. Yes. So this is it. Yeah. Like I said, assuming the transfer was done at the start of the year, then we would have added this figure to the opening balance and charge depreciation on the total. But the transfer was done at the end of the year, so we can't charge depreciation on what? That thing. That's the difference. So please calculate for me now. This is now the carrying amount or the carrying value of the asset to be taken to the statement of financial position. All right. I see that. Which one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Now we have to calculate the carrying amount. The transfer, you can transfer mm -hmm. expenditure. Yeah. Is it um, to property, plant, and equipment? Is it like investment property to be? I don't understand. Ask your question again. What note was that? The the sixty percent mm -hmm. infrastructure yeah. expenditure. Yeah. So it's more or less this is the concept. It's more or less like government is building hospital. It's an infrastructure, but they haven't finished. So during the year, they have finished 60% of the hospitals. And so now the hospitals are in operations. For that reason, it will move from the infrastructure concepts to what? A property plant and equipment. So during the year, the project that they complete will now become what? Part of the property of the government. So that is a concept about that. Which other workings did we miss? Hey, but you statutory no. So now you can give total of statutory. Have you done that, please? This one, your statutory government transfer. Before I claim, you need to give me total on that. Who is punching? Okay. Six million. Six million. Nine hundred and thirty three thousand five hundred. Okay. Confirm. What is the next working we said? What other workings have we not done? Financial what? Trust fund. No, trust fund, we won't do any workings because there was not we do only workings when the thing has more than one information. Okay? What else can we do workings for? I asked you to mark out some things. So. Loans and financial investment and our loans and advances. So financial investment. Do we have opening balance for financial investment? Do we? Yes. Okay. So please give me an opening balance. The opening balance. One twenty thousand. Million. One twenty. So one twenty. Million. Then during the year, acquisition during the year. That is on the first page. Two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. I think it's one sixty thousand. Where will you lie? And that time is we got my first comic book. And you say my first copy of book I read. <laughs> Is it worth sixty thousand? My opinion. <laughs> my opinion. During the year, did we dispose of any financial investment? There was nothing like that, right? If we disposed of, we would have deducted it. So we add it up, and that is all. And that could be one twenty, one sixty thousand for financial investments. Then 16, 
loans and advances. Do we have opening balance for this? Yes. How much? So would that be 100 million? During the year, we gave some. So granted during the year, 200,000. 200, okay. I think that is all. So we add it up. Are we done with all the workings? I guess so. Remember I told you that other expenses, we won't do anything about it. Now, in this first day, we won't work for subsidies because it's just a one single item. So we'll bring it on the face of the financial statement. We will not also do workings for social benefits because it's just one single item. We'll bring it on the face of the financial statement. So these two items, when we get to the face of the financial statement, they will come there in relation to that. So I think we are done now. We can arrive and put the answers down. Do I have totals for this, guys? Everybody, anyone here has done that? What's the way of five million? Mm -hmm. Twenty-five, one, thirty-five, five. This will be like 60 million, I guess. Right? Because 45 million plus 50 million should be 60 million. Yeah. Yeah. So we put it down, and then we now prepare the financial statements. Like I said, this is too much for your exams. But it's not a too much nature, it is the understanding I want. Okay, so I'm seeing some questions. Let me reply that. Augustine, can there be a situation whereby grants will be given in the form of a non cash item? If so, what will be the treatment then? Okay, yeah, Augustine, yes, grants can be given in a non cash item. In that case, we determine the fair value of the grant and we recognize it in the financial statement. But if in the question, we are not told the fair value of the goods or the services that the government receives, then we ignore it and just disclose it in the footnote. But if we are told of the fair value, then it will be incorporated as part of the grants of the organization. So that is the answer. There can be non-cash non grants, but we use the fair value to recognize it. Ninoy, sorry if I'm disturbing, but I still figure it out, sir. Please go over it step by step for me, please. <laughs> you go step by step. Okay. Let me see what I can do here. So, number one. 
I'm trying to put it in the chart for you. Calculate the capital allowance. Which is what? It's five million. This one, right? Yeah. It's five million. Said it was ten percent of this fee, which is twenty million divided by eight. Step two, deduct that from annual revenue. to get chargeable income. Step three, calculate tax at 35% on the chargeable income. Step four, deduct that from the chargeable income and that gives you profits of the tax. So Nino, I've commented the steps in the chat box. You can take a screenshot of it or something like that and follow it. Oh, already is crystal PSA. Wait, twenty months on the Everest alone, but no boy to me. Yeah. What do you think? Is it difficult, cheap, or what? What's your observation? We'll be answering on it. It's too much. No, but you see that this one is like it's a 40 man question. So in your exam hall, it won't be too bulky like this. It won't be too bulky. But the reason why I brought it up is the treatment of all the items. Like the transfer, like the bad debt, like this statutory calculation. Because even though your question will be short, these things may be there and you should be able to do the treatment. So really, you won't get this whole question for 20 months. That would be murder. I mean, to be too much. Say with the infrastructure. Yeah. After balance was forward. Uh -huh. What's the first word? Acquisition. During the year. During the year. ACQ acquisition. They said they'll buy my first company. Since they know what it means to. I won't do anything. <laughs> yeah, Nino, please, is the capital allowance the same as the tax allowance? Yes, Nino is the same. Is the same. We're good? Now you see how nice the financial system will be. You see how the FR we did? We did a lot of work in South in financial system. Now it's cute. That's how it is. But you give me one. Everybody there. Yes.
all available. So A. Okay. Statement of financial performance. What is our year ended? 31st December 2017. Alright. Two cash columns, we get the hell out of debt. Revenue on one side. We put the notes in the middle here. And I know the revenues that I'm going to be bringing. Direct taxes, so I'm writing them down. That was my king's one. Indirect taxes. That was what came to non tax revenue. That was working something. Four, I guess. Government grants. You will give it to me. Um, whatever. Then let's see. Okay, so Nino, I see another question from you. So please, when will this can insert a hey, tell you. So please, when will this can in no 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 I can't understand your English though. Capital investment of 40 million. 40 million 40 million in year one. Get to insert perspective. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, all the capital investment should be put in a pool. That means you add all together. Then in the year where production started, which I don't know, you said year three, in that case, you can uh, uh, now add the three and divide it by the eight to get a tax allowance for each year. Okay? You can send me hi to on Skype at Premium Educator. Maybe we can do, uh, arrange a video call like that. Then maybe I can uh, explain it to you further as well. So you can send me hi on Skype, Premium Educator. We're going to put the pieces together on the face of the financial statements. Boom. I got 10 minutes on the clock. Yeah, we should be able to do that. Last semester, the question that came was on um, an entity. So it was something, something educational college. So it wasn't on the consolidated fund. So this semester the examiner could come to the consolidated fund or to a local government which will solve a question about that as well as we continue our discussion. 
next week no. Okay. Okay. So let's go. You go to your workings and you feed me. Any bomb you give me, we are wrong. So make sure you give me the right things. Directors, is it workings one? Yes, sir. Can I have the figure there? 15 million. Uh huh. 985,000. Okay. Indirect taxes, is it working to you? Yes. How much? One million, two hundred thousand. Next one, non tax revenue, is it working for? Yes. How much? 735,000. Grants, what workings is it? Six. How much is it? Are these all the revenue items? Are these the only revenue items we have? Okay, oh, add them all. Total revenue. Please add up for me. And we bring the expenditure. I'm going to have goods and services. I'm going to have employee emolument. I'm going to have statutory transfer. I'm going to have, what else? The expenditure, list it for me. Public debt interest. So let's go. Goods and services note what? Seven. Seven. How much? Eighteen million four hundred and sixty-two thousand five hundred. Okay. Well. Employee employment workings. How much? Thirty million. Hey, what we say thirty? What we say ninety? Thirty million. Thirty million. Thirty million. Twelve million. Okay. Well. Statutory transfer. Working. How much? Six Public debt interest. Working. Public debt interest workings. Ten. How much? Twenty five, one thirty five thousand. I believe these figures are being confirmed. What other expenditure did we work for? I told you there were some items in the trial balance we didn't do workings for, like social benefits. So go to the trial balance and give me those figures. One eighty two four hundred. Then. Subsidies on subsidies. How much? One sixty-five three hundred. Other expenses. Other expenses. Eighty-five seven five zero. Can you confirm all these figures? Is that all? I'm just working. Don't go like that more. Other expenses. We brought it. And the expenses is what? 85,000. 85, not 87. Okay. Is that all? Is that all? Sasa? Trust. No, trust is a balance sheet item. Non current liability. It's a balance sheet item. But we don't want to keep that working through. As a goods and services, employee benefits, statutory transfer, public debt interest, social benefits, subsidiaries, other expenses, and sign after depreciation. Remember, I told you about this guy? Working is what? 14. 
Note 14, how much? 67, 587, 500. What do you mean besides that or that one? Can you call one can you read it? Asan! Okay, let me add it. Come on, let me Total expenditure. Oh, I mean brothers on the okay then I shouldn't close this so that I can deduct it and get my surplus or that is it. Faster sound please, punching and confirmation. The rest of the expenditures are capital expenditures. Repairs and maintenance, did we bring it under goods and services? Yes. Okay. So, no. So, add it up for me. Alright. 68 million. Uh huh. One hundred seventy-five thousand. Okay. Oh. I say a deficit. Oh, pay, 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 pay. <laughs> <laughs> deficit. Oh, pay, 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 pay. That's you. Because we who say depreciation go and give me seventy. Depreciation go and chop the revenue. Anybody confirming and punching out, please, faster sign. Negative. 
because accumulated fund is capital and capital keeps a credit balance so anytime your capital keeps a debit balance it means what is a deficit so what do we have 50 150 million opening but the good news is that our deficit is less than what what we have so no fee so we bring a deficit for the year the right word is net deficit, okay? Not just deficit. Net deficit. Mosey, I mean, 80,603,500. Million, million, okay, 500. Okay. <laughs> Alexander. What will be there? I mean, maybe I found Boa, so I can't no. Give me the closing balance. Give me the closing balance. So you see, we will still have positive on the accumulated fund. Fifty-nine million. Sixty-nine million. Three hundred ninety-six thousand. Okay. So there you go. Now let's do the last one. The statement of financial position. So let's go. Non current assets. I know we need to bring infrastructure. Now, this is another option available. You could put infrastructure, property, plant, and equipment together and bring it as a one liner item on the face of what? The financial position. But we didn't do that, so just give me the figures. Infrastructure, work is what? Infrastructure work in 13. 13. How much is it? 19. Is this after we deducted 67% to BPE? Yes. Okay. Property plants and equipment work in how much? The current amount at the end of the year. 230 million. 212,500. Okay, yo. What other non-current asset do we have? The financial investment. Workings. What's the last one? Workings on 15. Okay, how much? 120 million. 160,000. Is that all the non current asset? The, the structure we saw on the pro forma. Yeah, it's not really the current asset. Current yes, we could do that way as well. It's, it's the two uh, pro forma that can be used. We can bring the current or the non current first. Is that all the non current assets? Where are you? I'm in family paper now. The beer do not. From what beer is it? 19. So we, we brought property, we brought infrastructure, we brought financial investment. investment. So I think that's all. We add a three. Also very icy. Hmm. In my head. <laughs> 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 what are our current assets? Do you remember receivables? We did workings for that. How much is it? Receivables. Receivables. Sixty million. Workings. Eleven. Sixty million. Yes. You mean sixty million flat? Yes. yes. Okay. Any other receivables? Sorry. Any other non current assets? Can you see cash and cash equivalent in the opening balance? It's a current asset. How much is it there? 25 million. Any other item? 
Now, so what then, wait. What? Infrastructure assets uncompleted. Wait, which one is that one? That was what we brought up that. when we were doing the infrastructure calculation. Oh. Do you remember that? Go to your infrastructure workings. Is that the one that is there? Is that what we brought up? Yes. That's what we brought up. Now, loans and advances will be part of the current assets. Sometimes it could be a non current, uh, sometimes it could be non current, but in this question it's not clear, but we treat it as what? A current asset with the hope that people will pay it in less than 12 months. So, but like I said, it could also be treated as a non current asset. Mm -hmm. Work is what? 16. 16. Let's go. 100 and 100, 100 million, 200,000. <laughs> now, you see, in public sector, some of the item treatments are quite flexible. That is why I am saying that, like the pro forma you saw, current asset was first, not current second. But you could do the same thing. Second, loan and advances, it could be non current, it could also be what? Current, because in the question we were not we were not uh, told what really it is. So sometimes some of these treatments are flexible on the face of the financial position. Any other item? The deferred grant is a liability. We will come under liability. I get it. I guess that's all right. Add it up. Now you bring your total assets. Then we come to accumulated fund and liabilities. Two more strings. Two more strings. Two more strings. Let's go to the liabilities. Oh, say I have so many different treatments. I could have brought the accumulated funds first before the liabilities. But I'm bringing liabilities, I'll bring accumulated funds later. It's the same thing. Okay, here we are not too robust like that. You can do that same treatment. What are our non current liabilities? Mm -hmm. Do you remember the external debt? We did a workings for that. Workings. How much is it? Two eighty million one zero five thousand. Any other non-current liability in the question? I guess no. Current liabilities. I remember clearly payables. Workings. Trust fund. Trust fund. Kwana noka trust fund. Trust fund. No. Yeah, we do on ones that we ready. Shim, shim, shim. Trust fund, you know, everybody and a non current liability. How much is it? One and thirty-five thousand. One? Thirty-five thousand. Trust fund is a non current liability. And then the question is What? The question who asked? Uh, the grants. Yes. That, that would be a current liability. Okay, because probably the following year we will fulfill the obligation, so it will be current liability. Payables, workings, payables, eight. How much? Two. <laughs> we didn't write the final figure. Two eight nine million. One hundred and sixty three thousand. One six three thousand and fifty. Confirm. Okay. Then your grant deferred. How much is it? One five five, I guess. Is it one five five thousand? The deferred grants. Yes, one one five. One one five, rather. Okay. 
Any other current liabilities? Payables was where we brought wages and salaries, emolument. Didn't I tell you about this student assembly common fund transfer? The amount outstanding. Do you remember? Yes, yes. So transfer to district assembly common fund workings. I'm not working now. Yes, I'm um, working now. Why did you need to number? Because if you don't number, you you find it difficult. Work is nine. Mm. How much is it? Six million. Uh huh. Six hundred and sixty-three thousand. Uh huh. And fifty. Okay. That will also come under current liabilities. Why? Because the following year, the government will make what? That transfer to them so they can uh, undertake their projects. And I said, this yes. particular figure is really important to the payables figure. Which figure? Uh, this so 6 million, million 6 and 1 million, 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 million. Uh, We have added it to payables. Yes. Oh, so we okay. Let's, we less payable by that amount. No, we added it. We added it to payables. We added it. We added Okay, so I'm not supposed to bring it. I'm not supposed to bring it. So it's already included in payables. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are now. Let me show you things now. As I said, I did. I didn't show up for how many workers. Starting from here, right? Nine thousand, nine thousand, five hundred and fifty grants. All five hundred grants we brought in goods and services outstanding is in the payables. Then the payables workings. This figure. Payables. Okay, you are here to bring. Okay, then grants. So oh, where then? Uh, transfer in uh, uh, okay. Public debt interest outstanding and also our payables. Uh, receivable sixty million. We brought it right. Okay, direct taxes uh, outstanding. Okay. Uh, transfer in uh, Okay, infrastructure we dealt with it. Property, plant, and equipment, we brought the runners, we brought financial assets, we brought it. Um, loans and advances, we brought that one as well. This one, right? Okay. So I think, in other that, in other that, in other that, in other that. And for me, in Koyimim, Kudu Wana Sam Balancea, Namubeti, accumulated fund. What's it? I'm going to give you a total for the non parents. Okay, let's go. <laughs> 448 million. 672,500. 672,500. Be like this? Yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Finish act. Let's see if I balance it. The first time I solved this question, the balance is balanced. So, issue balance. Yes, it will balance. I've seen it. <laughs> issue balance. So please give me the PS. Yes. Total assets. Yes. Total assets. Does it mean you've done this and build it inside? Yes. Okay. 60. <laughs> <laughs> 633 million. Uh huh. 872,500. Okay. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Hmm. Young boy. Give me this, give me this. Accumulated fund. Okay. This will come. 69 million. 396. 450. So let's work it out. So, so, so. Four, five, six. I saw it in the spirit. It has balanced. <laughs> let's see if it will balance. <laughs> so that will be accumulated fund and liabilities.
Now, in the exam hall, your priority really will not be for it to balance though, but it's about being able to do the various treatments, right? It's correct. Okay. So now we've seen the five million. In the car, forty-two thousand. No. But at the answer, it's a number for real. Montreal five million this year. This is one of the reasons. It could be an expenditure item we've not brought. It could be an expenditure item we've not brought. Because chances are our net asset, we did not make any mistake. Chances are we did not make any mistake there. So please build it in. It's already 9.20 so that we sign off for the day and as you are going through the work again you can uh, find out where it is I'll be thinking about it as well and I, I also have the solutions now for me so I'll go through it then if there is anything I will let you know if there is any item we did not bring Funny now, there is nothing for the 2000 in the question. Or it could be arithmetic error. We, we can't do error for the 2000 like that. If it is error, it should be coins at the back. 
So you put it up. Build up the five million inside. That will change this particular figure. Okay? That will change this particular figure. So that means this figure will be like 75 million. Sorry, 85 million. Because the deficit will go up by 85 million. So this figure will change and it will change here as well. The 42,000, we will look at it, okay? I will go into it and then if I see it, I will let you know. But you can also go through it and check it out. Okay, so I think that is it. So we we'll conclude here today. So please make sure you go over it. And you can try the second question and the third question. If you face any challenges, you know what to do. You can send me a message on it and I can assist you about it. But you can investigate. I'll look into the workings and check where the 42,000 is coming from. Two things. It could either be and expenses we've not brought, or it could be an arithmetic punching mistake, something like that. Mm. But just that I'm not thinking it could be punching, because 42 is an even number, and it cannot happen that way. But whatever be it. And that is how I want you to build your understanding. So that at the end of the day, when you prepare the financial statement, you are likely to know something did not break. I'm able to know we did not break the provisions because of the five million. Because I remember that the provision was five million. Mm -hmm. So quickly, I was able to recall that it hasn't been brought. So these are just some of the things you have to take care of. So this is it. I'll see you in another lecture video. Remember to solve the rest of the questions for those of you watching on the study portal.